What a do Dream Team is your boy D Neil back with another reaction video. Here we are with our guy, Zach Rushing. I rock with Zach heavily. Zach gonna tell it how it is. That's that's what I rock with about Zach. He's gonna tell it how it is. Now before we jump into this, y'all know what I need y'all to do is smack that subscribe button. Ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You know, subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. I'm human. I talk back. Also, if you got a favorite video, suggest you can subscribe to Patreon or through the Google form link in the description. What we got, Zach? Okay, if you're a woman, keep scrolling because I'm finna disclose some information to a secret society of men that I didn't even know existed until last oh. night. Okay? okay, I got a little nephew. Now me and him is tight as peas and carrots. And about two weeks ago, he called me up, said, Uncle Zach, I need one more favor from you. I said, what you got, buddy? He said, me and my dad need one more coach to come help us coach our nine and 10 year old baseball team. We're one coach shy, will you come and do it? My dad's already a coach. I said, absolutely, buddy. Cause I'm all for youth sports. I really am. I'll do anything to get kids off their ass away from the TV and outside playing. I think that is a completely overlooked aspect of life that we really need to concentrate on. Now, me being the competitor that I am, I'm out there for one reason and one reason only. I'm out there to win. Now, out there to win. Zach, I, I, I feel you. Yeah, it made the kids may think differently, Zach. You're out there. I've heard they just need to win or lose, need to develop the players, uh, make sure the players have fun. Wait, wait, winning is not stressed as much anymore, Zach. I'm going to tell you that. Winning is not stressed as much anymore. I know. Competitor that I am, I'm out there for one reason and one reason only. I'm out there to win. Come on now, now, it didn't really click in my head when I agreed to do this that nine and ten year olds do not have the same mentality as I do when we go out oh, there. So the day. practices, I could see where kids were just kind of like, you know, they were kind of fucking <laughs> off, you know, just playing around, having a good time, this, that, and the other. But I was one of them kids that when it come to game time, I was locked in. I had one thing on my Ready mind, and it was to go win the ball game. Ready to win? No. That is not the case <laughs> when it comes to coaching these kids. So to all the men out there, okay, that are coaching their kids, listen carefully. I'll tell you a little story. Our first game was last night. And we're out there, and I have kids that are absolutely oblivious to the fact that we're even playing fucking baseball. Okay, my left fielder has his pants pulled down. He's pissing on the pole in left field. My shortstop is chasing fucking butterflies. And my right fielder keeps on building up mounds of grass and kicking them. Like, he doesn't give a fuck if the ball's coming to him or not. And I believe every word he said. I believe every word he said. Zach, keep telling his story. Building up I, I mounds of grass and kicking them. Story. Like, he doesn't give a fuck that if the ball's coming to him or not. And I am shaking because I can't yell at these kids because they're not mine. <laughs> okay, yes. but I can yell yep. at my little nephew. And his yep. daddy knew I was going to yell at my little nephew. What got me was I kept on looking over there at the other coaches. And they're just sitting there and they're just drinking their Mountain Dews and they're just doing their thing. <laughs> and they didn't give a single shit about if we won or lost either. And I'm like, there's no way in hell that I can do this. Now, we got another game on <laughs> Thursday, but thank God that I'm on tour this weekend. I'll be in Huntsville or Decatur, Alabama, Nashville, and Georgia this weekend. Thank God I don't have to go to the second game. But I'm sitting there in my mind, and I'm wondering, and I'm wondering how the hell are these people, these dads, which I played competitive softball with like three years yeah. ago, and they were the most down-to-earth, just locked-in some bitches I've ever seen because we went to win. How are they not shaking and sweating? like I am for the fact that when the last guy that hit the ball on our team hit the ball, he ran the wrong fucking direction. He <laughs> they done gave up, Jay. They done gave up. No, it's hard to be hard on kids these days because you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't want to come in. A lot of moms, a lot of moms will jump on you if you're getting on to their baby. If you're yelling at their baby, they going to jump on your case, Joey. It's, it's hard to, to make them understand that, hey, like, I'm being hard on him for, for the betterment of him. You feel me? But, uh, okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I had to say I didn't want to say it. This guy Zach, that hit the ball going. on our team hit the ball. He ran the wrong fucking direction. He went to third base. I don't know how many more times I can tell little Stevie that when you hit the ball, you have to run to first base. <laughs> you have to go that way. And he keeps on telling me, that one's shorter. I said, no, they're not, little Stevie. No, they're not. 
Okay, they're the same distance. They're 60 feet apart. He said, not if you're right-handed. I said, you're correct, but there's an order of operations you have to go through. Run to first base before I have a stroke. I am losing it in this dugout over a nine and 10 year old baseball team because of my competitive nature. And these other dads don't give a fuck. They're just sitting there drinking their Mountain Dews. How? I walked over to him, I said, how do y'all do this? I'm gonna stroke out coaching third. They said, you need to go get you a Mountain Dew. I said, I don't want a fucking Mountain Dew. <laughs> okay, I don't want one. I want a case of Bush Light and three shots of tequila. That's what I want. They said, go get a Mountain Dew. I said, buddy, you don't understand something. What, what the, hey, they drinking, they drinking over there. <laughs> they drinking over there, bro. <laughs> That's why they so relaxed. <laughs> what they putting in these Mountain Dew, man? What y'all drinking on, for real? Three shots of tequila. That's what I want. They said, go get a Mountain Dew. I said, buddy, you don't understand something. If I go get a Mountain Dew right now, I'm gonna throw it at one of these kids' head and I'm gonna catch a charge. They said, go get a Mountain Dew. So I went over there and I got me a damn Mountain Dew. Okay, I popped the top on it, boom. And once I popped the top on this bastard, I took a sip and it was the best Mountain Dew I've ever had in my life. Because apparently there is a whole secret society of coaching dads that have developed the greatest invention in history. Okay, sitting on the sideline, all of them drinking Mountain Dew and shit. You think it's a fucking Mountain Dew. No, it's not. You just watch this shit right here. You just watch. Let me see. To get this motherfucker off of here. You see what's happening right now? Do you see it? Can you, can you, can you see this? Hang on a second. This some bitches, but they're good. Mount, it looked like a fucking Mountain Dew. It's a bush light. There is dads all across the nation getting fucked up on the sidelines of their kids' baseball teams. And I think it's the greatest thing ever. I know now why the mom and the dad come because the mom's fully aware of it and the mom's got to drive home because that's the only way that you can possibly put up with this shit. I thought I was going to just, I, I thought I was going to be good at this. I am fucking horrible. I am awful at this. Absolutely fucking atrocious. But these little, these little koozies that go over them bush light cans where you can drink on the sideline, game changers, cuz. Game changers. After the third inning, when that shit right there come out, I ain't give a fuck either. <laughs> y'all keep this, men, y'all keep this shit quiet. You can't be getting out. I got you. I got you, bro. I Jeez. got you. I ain't know about it. Hey, hey, I didn't know about this. Uh, that's all we got for this one. Uh, that was show for the real. I love that. that. We gotta keep that a secret. We gotta keep. Uh, if you guys got a favorite uh, video, that you want to see or hear me react to, you can subscribe to Patreon and make a suggestion or in the description section of the Google form link. Hit the link, fill out your suggestion, send it to me. You want me to get to yours faster than others, fill out premium. But make sure you hit subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. <clears throat> Social media and Patreon up top, you want to subscribe to any of it, put the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy, Dini. Wow.